Good day, family. This is Dr. Adi Adibanjo from Ambassade International. Uh, coming to you with just a quick word uh, of encouragement. So I was driving out this morning. It's kind of raining. Uh, this thought came to me and I just wanted to capture it and share it with you. It's from Psalm 62 verse 5. In the NIV it says, My soul waits silently for God only, for my expectation is from Him. My soul waits silently for God only, for my expectation is from Him. And the thought that came to me from that is this, that our expectation uh, is and always should be only from the Lord. Our soul should wait on the Lord. And when I thought about that and you know reflected on that, this thought just came to me that you have to reserve, or you have to give people the right to say no to you. You have to give people the right to tell you no. Um, and sometimes, you know, we find that a little bit hard to, you know, deal with. But we have to grow up spiritually and emotionally enough to where people can say no to us and we don't get all bent out of shape, upset, and, uh, you know, down in the dumps because somebody said no to us. Uh, it may be just a sign that maybe your expectation was in that person and your soul was waiting on them. But if our expectation is in God and our soul is waiting on Him, even if somebody says no to you, that doesn't mean God has left you or forsaken you. So just, you know, uh, reserve, give, that people, give people that right to be able to tell you no. Don't emotionally blackmail, manipulate, uh, you know, and make people feel bad or feel ingratiated or feel obligated to always say yes to you or to do what you want them to do. Or don't put them in an awkward position where saying no to you causes problems and issues. No. Uh, let your expectation be in God. Let your soul wait only on the Lord. So that even if, you know, you approach someone or, you know, you expect something from someone and they say no, that's okay. They have a right to say no. Just like you have a right to say no at different times in your life. No one ever always has a right to, even God says no sometimes. When, you know, in different situations that you're asking for something, uh, they may be saying no. People are limited. Uh, and so they may say no because they just have limited resources, whether that's time, whether that's material resource, whether that's just the emotional bandwidth to, to minister to you, attend to your need at that time. But God is never sure. Or sometimes he even says no uh, because it may just not be the right time. Uh, his timing, the timing is off and you don't realize that you just want it, you want it now. And so even when God says no, it doesn't manifest, you get all upset down in the dumps, feeling bad, you must never be in that state. What do you do? Just make sure that you continue to wait on the Lord and put your expectation, your faith, your trust in Him and in Him alone. Yes, God will use people, God will work through people, through situations, but let God reserve the right for who He works through, or what situation He chooses to use. You don't put your expectation in people or in situations. So you don't get disappointed because your soul was waiting on them and your expectation wasn't that thick. If one door closes, God is very well able to open all the doors that are better than the one that's closed. Now, let me just say this also. Because somebody said no once, for example, you went uh, and applied for a job or an interview, but you felt strongly that you were supposed to go there and they said no, well, don't get disappointed. Just go back to God. Wait on the Lord. Keep your expectation in Him. And if the Lord directs you to go back there and ask again, then go back again and go back again. It's really in the context of, you know, you are looking for a job or you, you're expecting uh, something from a particular situation or what, 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 what not. Uh, just make sure that your expectation is not in that person, that organization, that situation, and your soul is not waiting on them. Make sure your soul is waiting on the Lord, your expectation is in Him. He will lead you, He will guide you, He will direct you to where He has prepared for you. So please take heed to this admonition. Uh, my soul, wait quietly, silently for the Lord only, for my expectation is from Him.
give people the right to tell you no and let it be okay also you also have the right to tell people no don't be don't feel obligated uh, to always say yes to people I'm not talking about being mean selfish and insensitive I'm just talking about uh, making sure that you are not uh, putting your expectation in people and then emotionally um, manipulating or blackmailing or putting pressure on them for them to say yes to you for what you want uh, please take heed to that God will always come through for you he is faithful wait on him wait on him wait patiently for the Lord the Bible says he will never fail you no I actually think it's a bit selfish and prideful for you to expect for people to say yes to you all the time or for you to feel bad when people say no when you make a request I mean it just conveys the fact that you are just thinking about yourself what you need, what you want, what you want to get, what you want to do and not necessarily thinking about the other person making assumptions about them um, you don't know what's going on in people's lives even sometimes people you're living with you don't know what they're going through you don't know what they're dealing with you don't know what they're coping with and so if at a time when you ask them for something or you expect something from them they say no or they're unable to do it and you get all upset that means you are not really thinking about the other person you're only thinking about what you want what you want to accomplish or what you want to get and by the way you are not God the only one that we ought to always say yes to is God and that is not you you are not God uh, I will encourage you when God speaks to you to say yes to him all the time because he is God he knows the future he knows where you are what you're thinking what you're going through what's happening to you what's going to happen to you and so whenever he says anything all that has already been taken into consideration and usually when he tells you or speaks to you he's trying to work things together for your good that is why it is advisable to always say yes he's not necessarily trying to get from you he's usually trying to give to you or get things to you and so you ought to always say yes to god but that's about it it's very difficult to always say yes to anybody else especially in the context when they're trying to get something from you and so you also you are not god you are not the only you are not you don't expect that you always hear yes and then when you don't hear yes you hear a no you get upset you begin to feel uh, that why why they say no that, that means you're you're just full of yourself focused on yourself what you want what you need and not so mindful of what the other person or people may want, need, or may be going through at that time and season of their lives. So please uh, take heed to these truths and be mindful. Grow up spiritually. Grow up emotionally. Be emotionally secure that when you hear no, you don't take it personal. You don't get all bent out of shape. You don't start, you know, bemoaning your state and, you know, feeling like, why did they say no? They shouldn't say no, no. That's a sign of immaturity, emotionally. Be emotionally secure enough to where people say no to you. Uh, instead of thinking about yourself, think about them. They may have a reason. To, even if they don't have a reason in your own mind that is justifiable. Well, you don't know everything. They still reserve the right to say no for no reason. That's their right and that's their privilege. So give people that and be secure to hear no and turn to the one on whom you're supposed to put your expectation and your hope because he probably he most likely has a way a better way prepared for you that you that you realize so don't stay there you know uh, meditating on and you know be sorry for and sorry about and upset about one person that said no when God has so much of else better things prepared for you turn your face back to him let your soul wait on him put your expectation in him he will open the right doors he'll make the right way and he will do what is best for you God bless you have a wonderful day
it's good to see you again. Pardon the in and out, you know, uh, brightness of the video. It just depends on what direction I'm facing as I'm driving. But have a wonderful day. God bless you. Have a great weekend. Remember, God loves you too much and is too faithful to ever abandon you or leave you without help. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.